Hey crafty friends, I am back with another scrapbooking process video and another page in my April Traveler's Notebook. So at this point, I've already finished the notebook. We are in May. I finished the notebook um, this past weekend. Actually, um, kind of used some challenges for International Scrapbook Day to finish it up. So I am done with the notebook, but... I am sharing, going to be sharing with you the rest of the pages that I completed in this notebook. So this is a spread that the pre-printed page there on the left was there and I kind of didn't know really what to do. We're not really doing a lot of exploring per se, um, but my son has really taken to cooking and baking. So his friend spent the night and they decided they were going to make homemade pancakes in the morning and Oreo cheesecake balls in the evening. So the pancake story is funny. Um, let me tell you what I'm doing here before I lose track. So, um, so I'm adding some word phrase stickers. These are from Allie Edwards. She had a whole food collection and I will link what's left of it down below so that you can check it out but I use those um, word phrase stickers around the edge to create a border and the yum and full belly plus happy heart is from a previous Studio Calico stamp I will also link that down below it is one of the ones that was one of the monthly stamps and I don't remember I'm sorry I don't remember what month but I will try to find it for you and link it down below if it's available so here I'm just trying to get them straight I actually did this page I did quite a bit but I knew that I wanted to do some stamping on the back of this so I didn't finish it until I did the next page and then I came back to finish it so it's kind of pieced together but anyways these are the good food and the yum is also from the, there's a stamp set. Oh, it's so good. It's all about food, which is amazing at this point in quarantine life because, I mean, what is there? Netflix and food and maps and scrapbooking, <laughs> you know? I mean, aside from work and homeschooling and all of that. So anyways, um, so I used those there and I didn't put those down because, again, I wanted to stamp on the back. Um, the good fun is from the fun story kit from Allie Edwards. And her previous story kits are not available, but she does do a story kit sale every once in a while. So you might catch it when she does the sale. Okay, so the story of the pancakes, because I don't want to leave you hanging. But anyways, my son has is kind of uh, at his feet phase where he's mean to his brother like he says mean things and he's just you know he's just a preteen boy and brothers are like that I understand so I for the longest time couldn't figure out how to kind of um help him stop that behavior and um he goes to a therapist and so the therapist was like okay well what we're gonna do he had um done something to me that was disrespectful um and so the therapist is like okay well what you're gonna do is you're gonna do something to serve your mom um as an apology so I carry that over into the brother's thing so he was mean and I told him that he had to do his brother's chores and that he since they don't have a lot of chores going on in the evening that he would have to make him and serve him breakfast the next morning. And my son is, he has a really big servant heart. Now he can be mean to his brother, but his servant heart is just so big. And so when I told him that, he decided he was going to go all out and make his brother homemade pancakes. I explained that we had buttermilk pancake mix where he just had to add water, but that would not do for him. So he went all out, made homemade pancakes, flour, baking powder, the whole nine yards, some cool whip or made some whipped cream on top and everything. So one of the pictures is him holding the plate with the spatula 
he has i think a pancake on the spatula and then the other one it the other two pictures are him and his friend who made oreo cheesecake balls that evening so anyways this is the page that i was i'm working on next so that's the page that um i didn't want to finish this one until i was done with that um so the paper on the right i covered with washi tape there's a thick washi tape in the kit the subscriber kit so i covered um like the bottom half with the washi tape and i punched circles out of it so I was going to use this circle behind there and then I realized that it just, I was going to put it up top and it just didn't work and I, I would have to cut a bunch of it off. And so I decided in the end, the washi tape circle comes off. So the other, the stamped images will stay on but that other will stay, will come off. And those stamp sets are from the Allie Edwards Eat Story Kit and um, I believe a Feature Craft Kit. So I will link all of that down below like always so that you can check it out because um, when I find good products, I love to share it because I mean, why not? If I'm spending money, I want to share the love. <laughs> All right, so I'm using some of these little stamp, um, little stamps from another Studio Calico set that is from In a Creative Bubble, and um, it's a small, like three by four uh, set. It's all about food, and um, it has words like bake, cook. Actually, I think this is when I lost my, because I had the cook and the bake, and somehow I lost one of those. So I have no idea where it is. That's the problem with the little stamps, is if you don't put them, clean them and put them away right away, they kind of can disappear, and that's what happens. So, anywho. All right, so this Let's Eat card that you see me fiddling around with, I'm going to cut... Um, it into kind of a banner style and I'm gonna put it up top and cut off some of the let's eat um, phrases because I didn't want all of those this is from a Kelly Perky um, kit and I am super sad that she is not making monthly kits anymore um, I know that she is doing some stuff on her website but the monthly kits are going to be sorely missed because I got some amazing stamps out of that and um, her alphabet stickers are just the bomb.com so and as you can see the whole stinking page came out <laughs> because it's the middle page and it's been flopped around so much so it came out once I put it in the traveler's notebook um, you know I put it in my Webster's pages traveler's notebook it's fine and you'll see that because I'm going to do a flip through um, I'm going to do a flip through at the end of all of my process videos for this one um, so that you can see the whole thing in its entirety. But also I'm going to show you the little bits and bobs that I have left because I want to show you how far these kits stretch. And I am a more is more kind of person. So I have no holds barred when I'm scrapbooking. So um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just adding my handwritten journaling here at the bottom, talking about the homemade pancakes and the cheesecake balls and all of those things and how much he really likes to bake. He's a foodie, like major foodie. He loves food. He eats sushi. He eats all kinds of things. So he just loves food. So um, he always wants to make dinner, <laughs> but he wants to do use the grill which i'm just not ready to let him do that yet but um he has made a hot dog giant pigs in a blanket mac and cheese so something i really need to sorry i keep yawning as you know from my voiceovers at this point i really need to you know kind of encourage that because his future wife will be so happy that i did <laughs> so 
um, yeah, I'm just going to add some wood veneer hearts here to the top and that'll be it. Here's some close-ups, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Your comments, likes are always appreciated. And please hit that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe because I'd love for you to become a part of my YouTube community. Thanks for tuning in today and um, have a great day. I will talk to you soon in the next video. Bye, friends.